Hello, sweet souls, and welcome to our gentle joint care class today. My name is Eleni, and I will be guiding you. And today, if you do have a blanket or a towel, feel free to sit up and elevate the hips. We won't need too many props today. We're just going to focus on bringing movement and mobility into our joints. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll begin in a nice tall seat. Feel free to cross the legs. If it's more comfortable, extend the legs forward. We're gonna work with our neck first. So bringing our chin down to our chest and just noticing that opening through the back of the neck. We'll begin to pair our breath with our movement. As we inhale, I'll start to mirror you here as we draw our right ear towards our right shoulder. As we exhale, bring the chin back towards the chest gently. Inhaling over to the left. Exhale towards the chin. And we'll do that again here, inhaling to the right. Exhale towards the chest. Inhale to the left. Exhale chest. Inhale, gaze forward or neutral, and we'll just gaze over that right shoulder, keeping our chin parallel here. Inhale, back through center. Exhale to your left. Inhale through the center. And one more time, exhale right. Inhale through center. Exhale left. Inhale through center. Very nice. Arms reach out here. We'll take a deep breath in. Arms reach high. And then on your exhale, bring the palms to the heart and we'll start to work with our wrist. So just gently draw your elbows out here. Feel that gentle pressure as you start to work your fingertips towards your chest. So you're kind of rotating your elbows out, your fingers towards you. And then we'll take the fingers out. Good. Inhale, fingers towards the chest. Exhale, fingers point away. And this time, relax the elbows and keep the palms together as we slither, almost in a figure eight movement here. So let the wrists kind of slither like a snake coming all the way up as we lift the elbows and then all the way back down and if we can it might be a little tricky we're going to reverse the figure eight good now shake the hands out release the arms up beside you and just roll the wrist in gentle circles we'll start to reach up and overhead and then press away and down and we do that one more time roll the wrist wiggle the fingers and then press away perfect and while we're here let's go ahead and work on our hands so just bringing each finger to the thumb and reversing you can speed this up a little bit if you'd like, or another challenge is to slow it down. So when we used to do this in my chair yoga class, we would count. Sometimes we would do fun categories for each finger, like types of birds, types of cars, so you can make it into a memory game as well. All right, shake the hands, release that. Excellent. All right, the last one we're gonna do is bring one palm up at a time. So I'll start with my right. You can start with your right or your left. Let's just take the first row of joints and gently curl. So it looks like that. So you're just curling the first row of joints and then the next one and then the third one and you make a soft fist. We don't have to squeeze and we'll reverse that. So we'll go three, two, one and then back down one, two, three. Let's try the other hand, gentle curl, one, two, three, and then reverse, three, two, one, and again, one, two, 
three, reverse, three, two, one. Bringing the palms together, interlace the hands, we'll start to press the palms away. Feel that nice stretch in the fingers and the palms. Reach those arms up, take a deep breath in, and exhale, press away. Good, let's make our way to shoulders here. Go ahead and change the cross of your legs if you have them crisscross here. Fingertips to the shoulders, make little chicken wings here as we take big circles with the elbows. Just getting that movement through our shoulder joint. You take your time, go at your own pace, there's no rush. And then we reverse, opposite direction. And we'll go one at a time. So one goes back and then the other, and you'll feel your rib cage kind of moving and swimming with you here. And then come forward or reverse that movement. Wonderful. Reaching the arms out, cactus arms. We're gonna get into the spine here with a little bit of a twist, taking a deep breath in. We'll start to twist to our right. Bring your gaze with you, just a natural twist. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale to your left. Inhale through center. Exhale to your right. Feel free to release the hands, but just use them as guiding points here. We don't need to use them to crank into our twist. So we know our natural mobility of the twist using cactus arms. And these releasing the hands is just as a guide here. And inhale back through cactus and exhale to your left. And of course you can just stay as you are, right? Keeping our hands in cactus and our arms or release them. And back through cactus and let it go, shake it out. Let's go ahead and meet on hands and knees. Feel free to have your blanket here underneath the knees for support, especially if you're on a hard surface. I always love to use a blanket, even though I'm on a nice squishy carpet. It's just extra padding, it's extra nice. All right, let's move into the spine a little bit more. Coming into our cat cow as we inhale, belly towards the earth. Keep your elbows just a little bit bent here so we're not hyperextending the elbow. So we're inhaling, drawing our tailbone up. Our heart is lifting. As we exhale, round through the spine, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin towards the chest. Inhale, the belly draws towards the earth. The heart reaches forward. Exhale, soft round and tuck. We're going to add a little bit of movement here, inhaling and exhale. And then inhale back through neutral. Let's sit back towards child's, keep the knees as they are. And so we're moving into chakra vakasana, which is beautiful for the spine. So we'll inhale, bend the elbows slightly and come forward like you're dipping your heart. And then we'll exhale, round, tuck, sit back, childs. Inhale, heart forward, leading with the chest. Exhale, round, sit back. And two more. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, forward, back through neutral. Excellent. From here, let's give our wrists a little bit more love, and then we'll move to our toes, which I love. Okay, fingers can come out to the outer edges of the mat, or if you want to work a little bit more intensely, fingertips towards the body. This may be one hand at a time or both, so just use the body's wisdom here. Let it speak to you. This may be just good as you are, or you can start to work into those cat and cow tilts here. And you might just kind of rock the pelvis up and down. It might not be a full extension here of the spine.
Coming back through the center, one hand at a time, fingertips point forward. We're gonna take that top hand, gently bring it to the top of the mat. And here the pressure is so light. We don't wanna push or put too much body weight into that wrist. So just rocking here to get a little bit of a deeper stretch through the top of the hand. Hips right to left. And shake it out, shake it out. We switch, other hand, gentle rock here if you so choose. These are all suggestions, modifications, and variations for you to explore. Please, please, please always listen to your body and your body's wisdom as your highest and greatest teacher when you're practicing the physical aspect of yoga because we'll shake it out. I am just a guide. I am not personally there with you. And so you are your biggest advocate. And that's the case for all of life, <clears throat> even off the mat. All right, go ahead and curl your toes. Let's sit back towards the heels and we're gonna work slowly. So hips forward, hips back. Feel that deep stretch through the top of the feet. Good. Pause here. Breathe through the back of the feet, toes are curled. Stay just as you are. If you want a little bit more, start to work your hands back. Hands come to thighs, shoulders over hips. Continue our breath. If this is too intense, if we have any type of plantar fasciitis or any injury with the toes, please feel free to skip this posture or to come into a lighter variation. And release, tops of the feet, release, and tap the toes, tap the toes. Good. So I do want to mention here, um, you can come down onto forearms if this is too much for your wrists, okay? Because we are going to work into our hips next and do some fire hydrants. So if the wrists are tired, go ahead and come down onto forearms, or you can use blocks here instead and come down onto forearms. Let's go ahead and lift that right leg out and in. So we're also working that glute here, coming out and in, flexing that foot. Good, next one comes into circle. So we come out, take it in a big circle, around, three, two, one. Good, reverse your circle, one, two, three. Excellent. Release it. Left side, we lift up, fire hydrant, flex the foot, bring it back in. Inhale, lift it. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifts us into our circles as we draw a circle with the knee for three, for two, for one, and then reverse it. One, two, three. Beautiful. Rock the hips here. That's not easy. <laughs> Definitely can feel some firing up here. Good. Let's rest in a child's pose. Big toes touch. Knees nice and wide. Reach the arms forward. And gaze lifts. Wonderful. Last one we'll do here. We'll bring our right foot between the hands. All right, we're going to move here in a low lunge. So your left knee is rooted. And we're just shifting forward. Use your hands here. And if you need extra support, please grab two blocks. And then shift forward. So it's coming into our low lunge back into our half split. Inhaling forward, exhaling back, and you can move at your own pace. You don't have to move with me. Good. And we'll do one more, inhaling forward, exhaling back, and bring that right knee back through center. Let's switch, left knee, left foot, excuse me, comes forward. 
Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, shift back, big toe lifts. Can stay here, use your blocks. Even though I said we don't need props, it's always nice to have some close by just in case. Especially if we're reaching for the floor, we can't, we're not connecting here. It's good to have a prop. Moving with your breath, inhaling forward, exhaling back, inhaling forward, and releasing left knee comes to right. Perfect. We'll go ahead and release our blanket here, coming onto our backs. So releasing the hips, extending the legs forward and coming all the way down. Extend the legs high, arms up, and we just wiggle here, almost like a dead bug. So kind of shake the wrist, release that pressure of having our body weight here on all fours. Shake the hands, shake the feet. This feels really nice. Good. All right, and let's extend the left leg, have the right leg high. We'll point the toe, and you can have your hands snuggled a little bit underneath your seat if you wanna do that first. So that creates a little more stability. So we'll come out with that right leg in a big circle and then all the way across the left and back up for three. You can point the toe like you're drawing a circle, two. And one, reversing opposite direction, same leg, one, two, three. Good, release the right. Left toe lifts, point the toe, and here we go. Big circle, one, two, three, reverse it, three, two, one, and release. Bring both knees in, give yourself a squeeze. Let's relax the feet, big windshield wiper. Take the knees to one side and then the other. One side and then the other. And last one, one side and the other. Hugging the knees close to the chest here, rocking the body. And then releasing the feet, coming into constructive rest. Feet are wide, knees fall in, palms might rest, connecting to the rib cage or belly. We'll just take a moment here as we conclude our practice to soften into the space, the space between our doing and our being. The space of allowing and releasing. So releasing any control of the breath. Feel the natural breath rise and fall. And then releasing the physical practice allowing our awareness to move into our body, into the inner landscape of our being. Noticing here, what does the inner landscape feel like today in this moment?
without any judgment, accepting everything, all parts. We'll slowly begin to lift the gaze. Give yourself a squeeze one last time. Knees come in, squeeze. And then rock onto one side. Let's press up to a seated posture. Bringing the arms overhead, taking a deep breath in. We exhale, bring the hands to heart space. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Wishing you peace, love, and light. Thank you so much. If you are enjoying this content, please hit like and subscribe or leave a comment below. And if you're interested in doing any type of meditation with me, check out my sister channel listed in the description below called Mindful Meta. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Peace.